This video is going to explain about a voltage divider circuit, sometimes known as a potential divider. I'll be covering the theory as well as showing a practical example using an Arduino. Using an Arduino means I'll be programming in C++, although the Arduino can run MicroPython instead, or you could use a Raspberry Pi Pico with C++ or MicroPython. So this is what I'll be covering in this video. First, some theory about voltage dividers using resistors what a voltage divider is and how you can perform simple calculations to choose appropriate resistors. I'll provide an example of how you can use the voltage divider to provide a signal suitable for 3.3 volt devices such as a Raspberry Pi and a Raspberry Pi Pico. I'll then explain how a potentiometer can be used to provide an analog input from a user which will be used in the Arduino bar graph circuit. As its name suggests, a voltage divider is a way of sharing a voltage. Typically, two or more resistors are used. It is useful in many electronic circuits. You may also see capacitors or inductors instead of resistors, particularly for AC inputs or fluctuating signals. For this video, I'm just looking at covering DC circuits with basic resistor voltage dividers. The basics of the circuit are shown here. In this case, this is between a 5 volt power supply, although this could be used across different signals. There are two resistors of equal value and the voltage between those resistors is half the supply voltage, so 2.5 volts. If we reduce the value of the top resistor, R1, then the output voltage will increase. If we use a ratio of 3 to 2, the value of R2 being 6 kilo ohms and R1 being 4 kilo ohms, then the output will be 3 volts, or tweaking those values a little to 3.4 Kilo ohm and 6.6 .6 kilo ohm, we have a 3.3 volt output. The, those resistors are not common values, so using the E48 series, you could use a 3.3 kilo ohm and a 6.2 kilo ohm, which will give you just under 3.3 volts. This can be useful if you have a device that needs a 3.3 volt signal, but they need to take an input from a 5 volt device. This can be used, for instance, if you have a circuit designed for a 5 volt Arduino, but then want to use it with a 3.3 volt variant of the Arduino, a Raspberry Pi, or a Raspberry Pi Pico. This will only work if the input to the next stage is high resistance, so that doesn't affect the current through R1. Well, rather than having high resistance, this is normally referred to as having a high impedance, as it also depends upon the capacitance and inductance but that won't be covered in this video. It also only works in one direction. It's not possible to take a 3.3 volt signal and increase it to 5 volt just using resistors. Using resistors in this way is a basic method, but can be sufficient for some uses. As you can see, there is a direct relationship between the values of the two resistors. This is a simple ratio that if one of the resistors is double the value of the other, then it will have double the voltage dropped across it. And this is the formula which shows the relationship. The output voltage is the input voltage multiplied by R2 and divided by R1 plus R2. This is under ideal conditions. Any loads on the output could change this. But using a microcontroller or some other high impedance device, such as a MOSFET, would have negligible effect on their value. To ensure that the load doesn't influence the value, then you should look to have at least 10 times the current through the voltage divider than the current through the load, perhaps many more times, such as 100 times or even 1000 times as much. However, you don't want to reduce the resistor values too low, as that would increase the current, which is wasting energy and may reduce the current for other devices. Having two high resistor values can make the circuit more susceptible to noise. I usually use a value of around 10 kilo ohms, which gives about half a milliamp of current. Also, in some circumstances, you may have a resistor that dictates your resistor selection, such as the light dependent resistor, which I'll cover in a future video. Assuming you use 10 kilo ohms, then you can work a ratio of the input to the output voltage, and that can determine the value of R1 based on that. 
So to keep it simple, I've switched back to the earlier example where the voltage is to be reduced from 5 volts to 3 volts. That means I need a ratio of 3 to 5. If you enjoy math, then here is this formula transposed for R1. So pick a value for R2, say 6 kiloohms, and then you can use this formula to calculate the value for R1. Added in the values, we have 6,000 ohms multiplied by 5 volts divided by 3 volts and then subtract 6,000 ohms and you have 4,000 ohms or 4 kiloohms. But for these values, I used an easier way. Think of the voltage divider in terms of ratios. We need a ratio of 3 volts to 5 volts for the output to the input. So we need to implement that ratio across the two resistors. If you multiply both sides of the ratio by 2, then we have a ratio of 6 to 10. So we need to maintain that 6 to 10 ratio across the resistors, the R2 being the 6 and the sum of both resistors for the 10. So assuming 10 kilo ohms in total, R2 is 6 kilo ohms, and as they need to add up to 10 kilo ohms, that makes R1 4 kilo ohms. This is one of the advantages of using a round figure for the total resistance. But if you need different values, then you may need to switch back to the formula. You may also need to take into consideration preferred resistor values based on availability, though a small difference in resistance is normally okay. A common use of the voltage divider is to measure the value of a variable resistor or potentiometer. These can be used for volume control or to change the speed or position of a device or something similar. In this configuration, one end of the potentiometer is connected to the power supply and the other end to ground. The central wiper is used as the input, which will give a value between zero and the power supply voltage. The Arduino and Raspberry Pi Pico both accept analog inputs, so you can use this value directly through their analog input pins. For a Raspberry Pi, then an analog to digital converter is required to convert the signal to a digital signal. Here is a practical example using a potentiometer, and measuring its value using an Arduino. Then this is displayed on a bar graph LED display. I've covered getting started with the Arduino in an earlier video. See the link at the top of the screen or in the description for more information. The potentiometer forms the input and the output is displayed on an, the LED bar graph. This circuit can be modified to control other devices that need an analog value, such as the speed of a robot, the volume of an audio output, or positioning of a stepper motor. Here is the breadboard layout shown as a Fritzing diagram. One change is that for the bar graph, I've shown individual resistors on this diagram, whereas I use the resistor network on the actual circuit just to reduce the number of components. It would work the same using either type. The circuit uses a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer, which is connected across the five volt supply. I'm using a linear potentiometer here. The output is through the digital output pins, which connect to a bar graph LED display. Current limiting resistors are used to protect the LEDs and the Arduino. Depending on the position of the wiper on the potentiometer, it will give a value between 0 and 5 volts, which is read in by the Arduino as a value between 0 and 1023. To get the input voltage, then divide the value read in by 1023, and then multiply it by 5 to get a voltage. That should be sufficient for many purposes, but if you need accurate values, you may need to provide an accurate voltage to the A ref pin and perhaps include some calibration in the code. The code for the Arduino determines which outputs to turn on based on the analog input value, which turns on the appropriate LEDs. The code is written in C and is available to download from the Penguin Tutor website. See the video description for more details. In this video, I've shown what a voltage divider is and some examples of how they can be used. I've shown how a voltage divider can be used to lower a 5 volt signal to be a safe 3.3 volt input, and a potentiometer can be used to get an analog input from a user. In a future video, I also plan to show how light dependent resistors, an LDR, can be used to create an automatic dust till dawn light. And thanks for watching, I hope this has been useful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a like if you've learned something new. I look forward to seeing you in my next video.